Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make reusable produce bags. These bags are perfect to use as an alternative when shopping for your fruit and vegetables. So you can stop using those single-use plastic bags. They are also washable, so you can use them again and again. No pattern is required, and I have a detailed tutorial on my blog that explains exactly how to measure and cut the fabric so you can make your own produce bags in any size you want. The link can be found in the description box below. These produce bags are made with mesh fabric and I also added a contrasting trim at the top. There are no raw edges inside because the seams are finished with a French seam. The top trim has a small opening on each side with a drawstring inside. And you can easily close the produce bag by pulling on the string. A perfect quick and easy project for anyone. If you want to learn how to make your own reusable produce bags, then keep on watching. To complete today's project, you would need some mesh fabric and some quilting cotton, some sort of drawstring or a cord to feed it through the finished bag, your favorite marking tool, snips and scissors, pins or clips to hold your fabric in place, a ruler to take some measurements, and a seam ripper just in case if something goes wrong. You would need to cut one main body from your mesh fabric, the size of which will depend on the size of your bag. I'm making the small size today. And you also need to cut two trim pieces from your cotton fabric. To start the project, go ahead and press one longer edge of the trim by one centimeter. Next, you're going to take one of the trims and we're going to mark two centimeters along the shorter edge on both sides. Now take your trim pieces and with right sides together, you're going to place them on top of each other, line up the short edges and pin it together. Make sure your folded sides are on the same side. Now we're going to stitch along those two shorter edges. However, we're only going to stitch from the raw edge towards that first marking. And then we're going to start from the second marking going towards the end. So we're going to leave the middle unstitched and we're going to repeat that on the other side. Once you've got that stitch down and you have the opening in the middle, you can take this to the pressing station, open the seams and press them flat. I'm just going to do that with my fingers today. Now we're going to top stitch on both sides about five millimeters from the seam. Take the main panel and fold it in half along the longer sides. Line it up and pin along both sides. If your mesh fabric has right and wrong side, make sure to fold the panel with wrong sides together because we're going to stitch the sides using French seam. We're going to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch along both sides using five millimeter seam allowance. Once you've got the side stitched, you're going to turn the back inside out 
make knit corners line up the seam you can take this to the pressing station and press the seam flat or just use clips to hold everything in place Again we're going to stitch both sides, however now we're going to use 1cm seam allowance and closing all the raw edges. Turn the main panel right side out, take the trim and with right side facing inside of your bag, line up both seams and the top rim and pin everything together. Just like that. We're going to take this to the machine now and we're going to stitch around the top edge using one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, once you've got the top rim stitched, we're going to take the trim, pull it outside of the bag. You can press the seam towards the trim, if you wish. And then we're going to take that folded edge of the trim, we're going to fold the trim in half, and we're going to enclose the seam allowance. You're going to place the folded edge just beyond that stitching line and then you can pin that in place. We're going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch the trim about 2 millimeters from the edge. The last thing to do is to fit the cord through the tube that we've created. I like to use safety pin to attach it to one end, insert on one side and fit it around the bag. Tie a knot, take your other cord and then you're going to fit it using the other opening. Well done, you have made your own reusable produce bag. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one from me in the future. See you next time! Stay crafty, friends!